So yes, it's hard to believe, but it is already that time of year, the 2024 model year changeover. So today, Hyundai actually released all of their 2024 information for the model year lineup, except those vehicles that have not been fully debuted, including the all new Santa Fe or the heavily refreshed Elantra and Sonata. Those are coming later this summer, so make sure to stay tuned to the channel for those. But in this video, I do have a 2024 Santa Cruz Limited here beside me, and we're gonna take a look at exactly what changed for the entire Santa Cruz lineup, including an all new trim level. So starting with the trim lineup or the trim structure, Hyundai has replaced the SEL Premium with the XRT trim, uh, which is all new for the Santa Cruz lineup, but they have had other XRTs for several model years now in other SUVs. So very cool indeed. And if you have followed along with my 2023 model year changes for this vehicle, they did introduce a night edition last year, and that does continue on for 2024, although it does get some packaging changes, much like that of some of the other trims. Now next, moving on to the exterior colors, I'm glad to announce that Hyundai is carrying over all of the exterior your colors available for 2023 uh, so that's nice to see i think the santa cruz has some of the best exterior colors in the hyundai lineup at least currently uh, so all the same exterior colors are going to be available for 2024. Now next, moving on to some safety equipment, they've actually introduced some new safety features, not only to the Santa Cruz, but other Hyundai vehicles as well, which I'll detail in those videos, so make sure to check those out. But in terms of the Santa Cruz, they've actually introduced the steering wheel haptic feedback, which functions for the lane keeping assist system, as well as the blind spot collision avoidance assist system. So the steering wheel itself will actually vibrate when you start to cross the exterior line, or when somebody is in your blind spot and you start to change lanes, the steering wheel will alert you via the haptic feedback. And I actually did take the Santa Cruz out just now to test it out. And I have to say, it's not a very strong pulse on the steering wheel, but it is enough to alert you. And it's nice to have additional feedback from a driver's perspective uh, to get your attention if something is going wrong. And the haptic feedback in the steering wheel is actually standard across every Santa Cruz. So it doesn't matter which trim level you get, that is a new standard safety feature, uh, which like I said, Hyundai is introducing in other models as well. And speaking of safety, another feature that goes hand in hand with safety is forward visibility and the headlights. And for 2024, Hyundai is making the bi-projector LEDs found on this limited trim standard across every Santa Cruz. So no matter if you get the base SC, the SL Activity, or any of the other trims, they are now standard equipment across the entire lineup. And headlights are one of those features that I take very seriously. I like having a ton of forward visibility or as much as possible. And the fact that Hyundai is finally making the nicest headlights to make available on the Santa Cruz standard equipment is definitely a big bonus for those shopping in the lesser trims. And next up on the interior, the SEL Activity package now comes with the 10.25 inch infotainment system with built-in navigation, as well as dynamic voice recognition. This all also means the night edition, which is based upon that same SEL activity, now comes with the larger infotainment as well. So the only two trims that have the smaller 8 inch screen for 2024 are going to be the base SE as well as the standard SEL. Now I know a lot of people out there do like the wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay functionality of that smaller screen. And there have been some articles that have hinted recently that Hyundai is getting ready to roll out the wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto on some of their larger infotainment systems here for 2024. So we'll have to see if that does come true with the all new next generation Kona, uh, maybe the refresh Elantra or Sonata, any of those vehicles. Uh, but as of right now, I did test it out on this Santa Cruz and it unfortunately does not have wireless Apple CarPlay or Android Auto with the larger 10 and a quarter inch screen uh, but that might be possible via a software update down the road so make sure to stay tuned to the channel and follow along with that news uh, but as of right now more trims of the santa cruz are getting that 10.25 inch screen now continuing on with the interior the xrt as well as the night edition comes standard with the htex leatherette interior this is actually a very nice material it's been in other trims and other models of hyundai vehicles for quite some time uh, so it's nice to see that the santa cruz now comes with that but the limited still comes with the genuine leather seating surfaces so do keep that in mind uh, pretty small difference, but I do like the H-Tech just a little bit more than the standard leather uh, here, not only on the Santa Cruz, but other vehicles as well. But essentially this means every 2.5 liter turbocharged Santa Cruz will either come with the h tex or the genuine leather interior. So you can no longer get the standard cloth with the 2.5 liter turbo. So if you want one of those Santa Cruises, I would highly recommend checking out a leftover 2023 model, uh, such as that of the SEL Premium or a Night Edition, as those do have the cloth. However, you will have less equipment than the 2024 models. And finally on the interior, the dual zone automatic climate control now is standard on the SEL and higher. And before it was actually standard on the SEL Premium, premium and the limited. So this is actually a good step down in the trim structure where you can get the dual zone automatic climate control. And that also means the SEL activity package and the night editions get those as well. So anything above a standard SEL or higher now comes with the dual zone automatic climate. 
Now I do want to mention a few other items that might not be listed on the official press release that I have seen on the 2024 window stickers for these all new trim levels. Now starting out with the XRT, I believe all of them will come with the dark um, accent grill like seen on this top limited. That is a little bit of an upgrade versus that of the standard Santa Cruz's which have the bright silver accents and the daytime running lights are kind of hidden in the dark chrome itself. So I believe all 2.5 liter turbos will come with the same dark accents on the exterior. So that's the Knight, the XRT, as well as of course the Top Limited will have that. And the XRT will also come standard with the wider fender flares that have been a dealer installed accessory um, on the Santa Cruz to this date. That will actually come standard, so it will be interesting to see that. I don't think I've ever actually seen a Santa Cruz with that equipped on it. And will also come with a few additional accessories such as the side steps, the bed rails, as well as the lower dark garnishes. So it is nice to see that the XRT is incorporating more of those Hyundai OEM accessories as standard equipment. And it should make it look just a little bit more rugged versus that of some of the other trims. So that's going to do it as far as all of the 2024 model year changes on the Hyundai Santa Cruz. If you guys enjoyed this video and or found it helpful, make sure to hit that like button below. It greatly helps out the channel and these videos. Of course, make sure to stay tuned for different 2024 model year changes across the entire Hyundai lineup and other manufacturers as well as that information is just now rolling out. Like I said, today as of filming this video, Hyundai did release that information and I wanted to get a few of these videos out there as soon as possible because the 2024 model of the Santa Cruz is actually the first Hyundai model to be hitting dealership lots right now as we speak. I know the Palisade is not far behind as well as certain trim levels of the 2024 Tucsons are also now starting to be produced and shipped to dealerships. So those should be arriving in the coming weeks. But as far as the Santa Cruz goes, you're going to start seeing 24 models taking over here in the month of July very quickly as uh, there is a bunch that have been allocated and produced as of July uh, 5th here as filming this video. And with that said, in terms of the Santa Cruz and the Tucson, those are the two that received the most changes across the entire Hyundai lineup outside of those all new or heavily refreshed Hyundai's that we don't have the full information or specs for quite yet. So uh, it doesn't surprise me that given that these are hitting their third model year in production in the current generation and they're based on a very similar platform of vehicles. So those are the two that received the most changes. And with all being said, make sure to stay tuned here on the channel for those future 2024 model year changes, including the walk rounds and stuff like that. So as always, I appreciate the support here on the channel and as always, hope to see you guys in the next one.